Well, welcome back, everybody. Smithy here, and welcome to another Jurassic Craft 2 episode. And we today we are back at Nublar. Yes, I promised it. Uh, we've done a bit of those builds on Isla Sauna, and I promised we'd come back today. And a funny thing's happened. We've come back on the island because I've installed the lovely furniture mod. Uh, some funny things have happened to the map. Uh, because furniture mod must be aligned to certain block numbers and if you remember and I'll go and show you now we used to have the fossil and archaeology mod installed on this map and those hidden blocks that I see in MC edit have now some of them have now come up so I'm going to show you what's happened it's well funny to say the least right uh, we're on the top of the innovation center here guys and girls uh, and we are going to show you something uh, first of all in the area across the water you will see that where the old monorail was on the old map and we're going to move it uh, some funny blocks have appeared and uh, which means I've got to take them out which is, this is quite easy actually but they are <laughs> they are floating printers from the from the uh, uh, from the Mr. Crayfish's furniture mod so we need to get rid of those really now the big problem here is that I need to get it oh no I forgot it's uh, it takes court it takes printer stuff uh, now I never thought about that uh, that's interesting <laughs> uh, let's see if I can no <laughs> Uh, I can't do anything though so what I kind of do is try and get rid of those I was going to use in fact I'll have to use this so I'll have to just go and get that hot rid of the whole line halfway uh, so yeah the printers are floating in the sky where the monorail went originally when I copied and pasted it in but uh, that's what we're not going to we're not going to show you that because that'll be dead boring so we're going to do some changes on the map namely uh, if I want to show you something let's just do that and you just go click there you go, slash, slash, set to zero. At least I can see them now, uh, which is really cool. And uh, I can now easily get rid of them, especially these. So all I have to do now is go the whole way down here. And then, uh, oh, in fact, uh, first position, that was all right. And then I can get rid of them because we don't want those here. I wonder if they were the old lighting blocks from Fossil and Archaeology mod. Ah, I think they may be. Let's go and test them out. Uh, so I'm going to get rid of that now because we don't want that there. There we go. They're all gone. Uh, but however, do you remember when the old uh, Indominus Rex uh, compound was over here before we rebuilt it and knocked it down? Well, the Indominus Rex compound, you can actually see it. You can actually see the size of it because there's a load of printers. Now these ones I'm going to have to remove by hand and delete them all so that's uh, going to be a bit painful in terms of these you can see that where these are where the outside lights were of the arena and these are the row of lights at the back of the seats aha some people down there uh, so we're not going to do that because you don't want to see that you want to see some changes so because we've got the way t-rexes go and say hello to them let's go and see what they're doing uh, yeah because we've got the furniture mod on hello Hello. Hello. We can't wait for the new ones. They've got new models. And I'm really looking forward to that. Yeah, they're really cool. They've got different heads and stuff. Right, we are going to go to the Hilton Hotel. Uh, not that way we don't. Yeah, we're going to go to Hilton Hotel to change or set up the boys' room. Well, we're going to have a go at it anyway. We're going to do one floor of the hotel. Oh, two bits left there. Let's just get rid of those. Yeah, and loads of people have been asking me, building loads of stuff. Yeah, this is a long-term project, everybody, and I will keep building it. I am not going to stop the series, but I am doing other stuff. As you will already realize this week, I have got another passion, which is uh, rally games. What is that? What is that? <laughs> wow, it's a jelly. Yeah, <laughs> I have got the, I do play rallying, so I am going to be continuing doing those videos, and I will continue doing 
Minecraft Star Wars and I will continue doing Minecraft Jurassic Craft 2. Don't jump, Ralph, Ralph, Raf, MC. Uh, oh, look, there's people everywhere. What's going on? Oh, wow, they've all walked in here. Uh, Scott Gaming 1, 2, 3. Yeah, I need to just change the frame rates a minute and come back because I've got it on the long version. So let me just change that and come back. So here we are, everybody, at the Hilton Hotel. Uh, I can't see as far now because I've cut down the uh, viewing angle. But what we want to do is try and create the boys' room. Uh, and I've already started because I was looking at the layout and how it actually works. But look who's here. Who have we got? Who have we got? Ah, oh, Ralph MC again. Yeah, right, let's go down here because I know someone is walking around. So, we've got two halves of this floor. Uh, if you remember rightly, they could see Main Street out the window when he went out the window. This is like a sort of lounge area coming out onto the balcony because obviously they're the friends of the the manageress of the whole place, let's say, or Claire as it is. Uh, now, I've had to do a bit of funny things here. Let's go back out here uh, because... The doors, you keep walking everywhere, uh, the doors do not exactly sit with my design, but I'm not going to change millions of blocks now, so we're going to keep it is. But the doors here, there's a door there, lighting, and then there's the alcove here, uh, because I've had to do a bit, this one here goes into this area much smaller room these are there's two separate rooms here but i haven't put the uh wall in yet which will be this i've decided most of the walls looking at the pictures and i've just been spending some time looking at inside the room uh there's a standard color in fact i need that now uh, oh don't fall down there where's that one gone don't need that so there is this standard color which I'm going to use uh, for the walls uh, so that's a simple case of putting walls in once I've done one floor I should be able to sort it out and do a few more floors but we're just concentrating on the boys room anyway that's to that suite which we're not worried about so we're gonna have, oh. <laughs> hero who well now you're in here that's your room <laughs> no, you might want to come out so the boys room is this one where they run in now I've sort of compromised here because when they come in there's some light in and if you remember rightly uh, there was the door the window on this side and some sort of area so I think I might leave it's it's just not working right here so we're just going to compromise first things first though there is a cabinet here and I've got to work out how to do cabinets uh, because we can get lights and put lights on it uh, and there's a little cabinet on this side as well but we've got this little bit of a wee bit of problem like that so we have to sort of work through it uh, and what I'm going to do is that was we had this wall here as such I'm going to leave because these are quite nice and bright I'm going to leave these walls up but here we had uh, we had we put that up there as a bit of a a bit there in fact no that was that was these oh no <laughs> uh, this is sort of make it sort of wooden and then we have this like cabinet here and then the same here and, I, and I, what I'll do is put that sort of all like that so they sort of stepped in through the area here and then uh, if I just move the other television here okay I was filming and it didn't film so I'll have to show it again so film this right in the uh, furniture mod we have lamps you can see the lamp there we have bedside cabinets uh, we have TVs so I've been improvising so what I'll do is show you the bit I've done so we've got a lamp on there lamp on there which is in the movie uh, then we put bedside cabinets here and if you stand on them you can actually put stuff in the bedside cabinet that's not fun like chess uh, to put stuff back on them you just uh, you have to stand like that it's just like accessing a sort of chest the beds are here so I did the beds and I put the continue doing the wall around here now they've only got these TVs uh, the uh, the furniture mod crayfish turned mod's only got this TV so I had to put a light above it to actually see the TV but isn't that cool one word of warning do not use mirrors 
because uh, the mirrors don't work but is that so good to have done that it's just excellent uh, so and then I did the window like this because if I go back out here and I missed you missed all this filming it doesn't sit exactly right but it is the boys room and it is a penthouse so these ones up here are sort of bigger these ones down here are just small rooms but this was a double room and a double twin and extra bathroom and the penthouse area over there it's not a big penthouse but it's like that so then there's the bathroom area here which I haven't done which is not going to it's going to be sort of bathroom kitchenette so I've got fridge freezer to put in here. I did this room and I'm going to go putting something in the bathroom. I'm going to see if I can get stuff in here. See if I can get a shower in here, sink and a toilet. <laughs> we're going to try that. Uh, and then I will put some settees through here. That's what we're going to do. Put settees through here. If I sit in area and then I shall come back. So that's what I'm going to do. Uh, first things first then. Let's just go and have a look at the move the kitchen stuff. Uh, e Let's go to here. There was a bin, a wall cabinet. Uh, let's go down to the fridge freezer. Fridge. Get rid of that cabinet now. And get rid of that lamp. Uh, mantelpiece. There was an oven as well. So we see what it looks like. Put the oven there. Oh, <laughs> oh wow. Look at this. Put the fridge. Oh yes. Look at this. And I know you can. I know. You can put things in the fridge because they're like, uh, what's that? Oh, ice maker. Yeah, okay. And that's the oven. Uh, I'm not going to play around with the stuff. So what I need to do is just put in a cabinet. Wall cabinet. Kitchen counter. Ooh. Kitchen counter. Get rid of the oven. What's that? A blind. Oh, no. we got blinds. Oh, I'm going to feel the here. Hey, kitchen counter. Oh, I like that. With the worktop on. Hey. I'm not supposed to have a kitchen in here. This is like... It won't have an oven in here. It'll have a fridge again, won't it? But it's just like a counter thing, which is really cool. Right. Uh, I shall do the bathroom. Come back. And I think what we're going to do... Yes, put pillows there. That's it. Yes. So what I'm going to do is kit this place out, hopefully get some pictures, and I'll come back and show you what I've done with it. Okay, here we go. We have now got two floors of rooms. Uh, I've not quite finished yet, but I've been taking uh, it's been taking quite a while to do it. So we're going to show you around uh, because there's certain things now for you guys who want to download the map once I get it available, hotel. The only way you're going to see the furniture is uh, with the furniture mod installed, I'm afraid, because that's the only way you can get furniture in Minecraft. Uh, you will have the hotel. It'll be hollow once I've finished it. Uh, and it's taken quite a lot of time because I've started to go down the floors now. And uh, what I need to do now is finish off the last yeah, few floors. This is going to be a... I'm going to make this a big like double layer glass make it like quite a bit of a, a fancy restaurant type thing at this sort of height and the foyer will be underneath and then so it'll be a double level double level here and then a top like conference room area here so I've got to do that so anyway let's show you around the rooms as we got them because I've been able to copy and paste them but there's a few issues you need to be aware of if you try that uh, the first one I did was this one uh, the top one was actually the first one I did in fact well doesn't matter they're both the same uh, but you'll see now that the doors are on here and what I was able to do is once I'd finished this one uh, and I still need to just put some uh, which one's that yeah I just need to put hmm now was that's uh, I took out the bed ones didn't I so I have to think about that whilst I've been doing it I've had to take out some lighting and put some new lighting in uh, to make it work uh, and make it fit and I've had to do the glass I'm going to show you that so here's the lounge area and dining area and little computer room which overlooks the external patio area which I haven't put patio chairs down yet uh, I will do but I wanted to get the internal bits completely right so that's done the bedroom's done on this side uh, however what I found, and I haven't had a chance to do it yet, is I can now make the bathroom bigger because it's quite small. Uh, or have this as the cleanest cupboard here. <laughs> because when I transposed it to make it opposite, look, there you go, candlestick, candlestick. 
uh, it created a gap in between which is really cool because it uh, could just have uh, could just have a doorway here into this and then what I could do actually is seal this up it's just a piece of glass and then when I copy I can copy the whole floor and in fact what I'll do is leave that like so and it's just a fascia so that's how, how you get stuff in a hotel this will be the the uh, like the room where there's loads of uh, blankets and stuff when you come in so let's find a door a door 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 let's put so we put a different one on so we draw ourselves like it looked totally different yeah there you go so that's like the uh, heating and plumbing room and uh, sheets and stuff on each floor so that's fine anyway so we've got this suite here which has the balconies as you've just seen which goes out to the balcony that way and then you've got another suite the other side which is literally the opposite now when i did the opposite i've had to replace everything basically because these these turned around the opposite way the tvs turned around the opposite way all the bathroom furniture the fridge everything turned itself around in fact Hmm. See the radio has as well. Just to show you, if I go and find the radio, uh, radio, radio, radio. Oh, I've seen it somewhere. Ray stereo. See, that's turned itself around as well. No, no, it hasn't. That's probably the only thing that hasn't. Fridge turned itself around. I had to replace all the toilets and stuff in here as well. But most things are right, and I had to do the cabinet. So this is the bedroom, and it leads through to the back of the hotel. Uh, there's extra doors here to get in and get out so that's really cool because it's a quite a big suite all the chairs turn around as well so i've had to re-replace all the chairs and put a floor here now these well i've just thought about this these will have a balcony here basically and i can have big uh big doors here just take those out in fact i want to do what i want to do is have a gap uh let's do this Put that like that uh, and then if I remember rightly we have these would be metal but yes that's nice and tidy isn't it uh, uh, there yeah make that sort of like that oh and I think the glass might need three let's do it that way put the windows in and once they're done though it means I can copy and paste them in so if I just put that there and uh, this is the grey glass, it's not the black glass. Uh, there's the black glass up there. So let's just do that. And I think we're going to have... And then it comes out. Uh, these can actually come out. The windows can actually, the doors could actually come outwards rather than inwards. So there you go, there's a patio door there. I haven't done that one yet. But that means you'd have patio doors onto the balcony overlooking this, which would be really cool so i must do that the same again so it's quite it's uh ooh, is that yeah that's that's right it's a bit of lighting i want to get the trouble is i've got with lighting is i'm quite restricted with that we've put the lamps in but uh oh there we go we'll put that on there and then that'll be pretty all right yeah that's being to look the same up here just check what i've got to do this is the sort of thing that you have to do it takes a long time but once i've done it and got it right i can then uh, copy and paste what i did see is copy and paste it to see what it would look like uh, i think is that and then once we got this i can redo it and then oop redo like that i think that's about right yeah there we go see so that's going to be ah it's going to have a step on it one two three and then that's there put that there that's the lighting sorted out I'm trying to ing integrate the lighting into the building so I don't have anything hanging down now search and then this one here yep there we go and we oh no it's a <laughs> it's not it's gray I've just done that once and a second time mistake it's the glass on the other side that is so one two and then we face it out the doors open just there like that so there's two floors done uh, so I, and once i've done it for these three levels here we're literally those three the same i'm also going to put it in the top one as well because i can transpose it to this one so these four levels will all have furniture in because then i can <laughs> who's over here <laughs> oh they're all over here 
still alive live bomb uh, I can transpose it over to that side uh, yeah so we're sort of done now because the only way I can do it now is copy and paste the whole floors so they don't all mess about right let's just check outside it's all right and I'm done being silly shut these doors there we go yeah it's all good isn't it and what I wanted to do was here is the uh, this is the lift as such so because we've got that we should actually have something here which means the floor is solid and the lift and I think we're gonna have to do something there as well uh, no put it on that one because then it's the same for them all sort of a lift with a door and then it goes sort of makes it look like it yeah it does make some light go out right that's the lift there's the cupboard so that floor is completely done so i can now use that uh, the only problem is i think what's going to happen is when i transpose it over ah no if i mirror it that way it might actually all work we shall have to see uh we shall have to see yeah right okay what i'm going to do is i'm going to just going to do the copy and paste to do the four floors and then you'll have four floors on that side and then transpose over onto the other side and the other thing is i've got to do some more that's it right okie doke yeah that's coming together right i'm gonna do that and then come back and show you the four floors so we got three floors and the fourth floor, but uh, I'm having to make some modifications to the fourth floor because let's go and have a look inside. Of course, it's uh, I put the uh, oh, look at this, I put the rooms in, of course, and it's much higher. Uh, so what I'm having to do is uh, just what I really am going to have to do is uh, what's that over there? Oh yeah, that's the top. Uh, is extend the glass. Uh, I'm, going, I'm having to go around. So like and also put in the beams where they're supposed to be because like this beam shouldn't be here now it was there on the previous one uh, but because the beams of the rooms much bigger it'd be daft absolutely stupid to have beams in the rooms where they were so it's taking quite a long time to get this done but it's going to be well worth it in the end uh, as you can see so these will go right up to the top and once I've done that I can then transpose it over so what I've got to do now is build up uh, the level and what I'm going to do is I think I'm going to build it up to this level here see this here so what I am going to do is take all this out because that's not doesn't make any sense whatsoever and then uh, put it all all the glass back in I put on these I'm sort of doing this where I'm making ooh, like making this sort of go across to make it look pretty like that and then once I put the glass in it will be back fine and then I put all the walls in uh, what I'm gonna do is put like light in I'm gonna put the because this is like this so let me just show you I can, I'm gonna fill the ceiling in on this because I think it'll look pretty good I use MC edit to do that uh, but what then I'm gonna do is I can put the lighting in where I want so if I put another complete la layer here of flooring using MC edit in fact probably need to do that right to there just like this so if I do whack like that and then take this all the way over to here because that's probably the end there if I use that one there and then put in slash slash uh, oh set one five five there we go and then what I can do once the ceiling is lower I can then put like lighting in to put so it's got high ceilings and the same here this will be just put that all the way down there it's gonna be quite easy we've got some frame rates put that in there like that there we go I put some more lighting in that side as well so that look pretty cool uh, let's get that glass in there. there's one piece missing as you saw oh no that's the wrong type is it let's check that check out the right glass here Did I have the right glass I must, oh don't tell me it's the oh no it's not black 
E, where's the black? There it is. See, so you've got to be very careful with this. So once I put that back, that goes there like that. That goes there, hides it. There we go. That's it. So the wall is like a glass wall. So on this side of the hotel, it doesn't look like it's got walls inside. So, so it's quite a bit of work to do. Uh, that's the end of this episode because there's still quite a lot to do and it will go into the next episode. There you go. Look, so you can have these high rooms, which I think I'll just finish off here and do one wall, shall we? One wall. Let's finish this off here. So if I just do that and two there, you can see. Right, so that's that. That's like a fancy place, isn't it? So the only place, the only thing now is to put some put some uh, lights in. I think one, two, three, four. Uh, one, two, three. There we go. And I think we're gonna have to go keep it a uniform as well. So one, two, three. I'm gonna do it there, closest that way. And then all I have to do is do the same. Uh, one, two, three. Ooh, should we do it there? Yeah. Yeah, I think that's about right. That'll do. Looks quite lit up in the dark. That's what I want to make sure that the hotels are lit up in the dark as well. And then one, two, three, four. Oh, it should be just about right. Yeah, there we go. Uh, uh, I just didn't finish this, but that's because we have to be careful with these. So if I just do that, see how far. Oh, it's no good, is it? That. Come through there. All the way down to as far as I can do it, which I think is going to be here. I'll fill the rest in. There we go. Let's move out the way. Put that in there. There we go. And I can just fill this in here. Uh, I don't, you won't be able to tell. So... I will do the rest of the <laughs> Someone's already over here. You already moved in? JTM02799. Amazing how people move in straight away. I'm going to have to move all you over there. I'm going to have to try and get all you over into this side before I transpose it. I might have to block you all in a room, actually, or just get rid of you for now. Be intro help. Record all the names and make sure you're all here. Who's this over here? <laughs> How you love walking around the hotel. It's dead cool how you do. Right, okie dokie, guys and girls. There you go. Thanks very much indeed. Uh, we will come back. It's going to take quite a bit of effort, so but I'm going to do a bit more for the next episode. I think we'll have two episodes of hotels, and then we'll carry on. But I think already, for those who want to put in, what I'll do is I will, when I upload this map, I will put the furniture mod uh, into my mods folder. So you just have to download my mods folder and use it. So there you go. Thanks very much indeed, and bye-bye for now.